More than two dozen women have now accused Weinstein of sexual misconduct and or assault since two bombshell exposés in both The New Yorker and The New York Times. Weinstein's representative, Sally Hoffmeister, told The New Yorker any allegations of non-consensual sex are unequivocally denied by Mr. Weinstein. Joining me now is actress Lucette Geis and her attorney, Gloria Allred. Ladies, with a welcome to both of you, um, I want to ask you a question first, Lucette, because I know you said earlier this week that you had an encounter with Weinstein. Can you tell our viewers what happened to you? Yes, I met him at the Cannes Film Festival uh, initially, and then later at the Sundance Film Festival. Uh, I was there pitching a script, and when I saw them there, he invited me to his premiere. After the premiere, he asked to hear my pitch, and we decided to meet at a restaurant where we both were staying. And uh, shortly after getting to that restaurant, they were closing, so he said, let's reconvene in his office. At film festivals, they turn hotel rooms into offices, uh, which made me a little leery, and I had heard some rumors about him, but nothing concrete. Um, but I had seen a, a security camera right above me, and I said to him, I will go meet with you if you shake my hand that you won't touch me. And he laughed it off and shook my hand, and, and off we went. Um, we had a great conversation initially uh, about his film that he had premiered and my pitch, uh, and I just started to get going with my pitch when he had to excuse himself to the bathroom. Um, and when he came back, he was in nothing but a robe. Uh, and he said that he had to hop into his hot tub, which was very close to me, and uh, to keep pitching. So obviously, I was incredibly nervous and scared. I didn't know if there was a way out of there. I didn't know, you know, if he had put something in my drink even. So I was very nervous. I kept talking. And um, he finally got out. I finished my pitch and I said, I have to go, this is ridiculous. Uh, he grabbed my arm and led me to the bathroom where he uh, held my forearm and made me uh, look in the mirror. And he was saying, you need to watch me masturbate um, repeatedly. I then got my arm away and tried to get out of there. He followed me telling me he could give me a three picture deal. He could green light my script. Mm -hmm. He could change my life. And uh, luckily, though, I was able to escape. Okay. Well, that is a chilling tale, no doubt. So, Gloria, hearing that and listening to your client's story, what do you want to pursue here with Mr. Weinstein? Is it all criminal? Is it civil? Is it both? What are your plans? Well, I would say both. Uh, Alex, um, I am now being contacted by numerous persons who allege that they are victims. And I'm getting emails from them from all over the world, not just the United States. So we are getting back to each person. We're evaluating what their legal claims might be. Because the point is, I believe there needs to be justice for victims. This is not just a story about Hollywood celebrities. This is about real people who are somebody's daughters who have, in their view, been harmed. And what I'm hearing is just outrageous. Uh, so one of the steps that I have taken is uh, I sent a letter, which was delivered yesterday, to the Weinstein Company. And I have asked for a meeting as soon as possible with the board of directors, because it's really important. They have indicated in their press statement, Alex, that they also care about justice for victims. Well, that's what we're all about. That's what mm. I've been about as a women's rights attorney for 42 years. And we want justice for people who allege that they are victims, people like Louisette and many, many others. And she's very courageous to have spoken out. And I think Absolutely. she's inspiring and empowering others. So they have acknowledged receipt of our letter yesterday. I emailed it. We had it hand delivered. We FedExed it. They've acknowledged it. And we're looking forward to their response because it's very important that we come together, we have a common goal of seeking justice for, for persons who allege they are victims, and we believe that we have some creative ideas to present. Mm -hmm. We need that to happen very soon. But you know, as Louisette was saying, she had heard rumors. So Gloria, why do you think it takes so long for these allegations, and we're going to say they're just allegations at this point, why so long to service and then all of it all at once they unfold with so many well and that's such an important question alex because and the answer to that is there are many reasons one is fear of retaliation fear that 
people who have come into contact with him who are seeking, uh, you know, opportunities as Louisette was mm -hmm. in reference to her script, which was a big opportunity to pitch it to a major producer, might be retaliated against and if, in fact, uh, they spoke out about it or did anything about it. Fear that they would never work again in this town because he was so powerful and they were not people perhaps whose names were known or even if they were known, they might not get uh, you know, the next movie if they said and anything. Is that what, Louis, is that, is that what you felt? I mean, this was a very powerful man. Did you tell anyone? Did you fear retaliation if you did? Absolutely. A absolutely. I feared retaliation. And I did tell, quite frankly, uh, family members and friends. And over the years, and like I've said before, that I got out of the business uh, predominantly because of this kind of behavior. But I did tell people over the years, and really any actress uh, who would listen because I wanted to warn them, but the truth of the matter is, is I knew that he would come after me with a vengeance. Um, and honestly, I was scared of him. I mean, and I, at that time, I, you know, I was working and I was helping uh, another family, you know, survive. So th there's a lot of things mm -hmm. that go into not being able to work. And, um, you know, it just, it was very devastating that uh, this happened. And in terms of over the years, Gloria, look, reporters have dug up these allegations. They span, I believe, three <laughs> decades. So there must be people who worked for or were associated with Weinstein and turned a blind eye. Do they potentially face legal jeopardy? And if so, on what grounds? It does depend on what the facts are. And it may be that some of them were also alleged victims. So all I can say is we have to wait for the facts to pan out. But we don't want to lose our focus. We want to make sure that Harvey Weinstein <clears throat> faces justice, whatever form that may take, whether it's in the criminal system. And I'm glad that <clears throat> New York is now investigating law enforcement there and that London is investigating. And it may be that there are other countries and other states which may open investigations. Mm -hmm. So we need to stay tuned for that because the allegations that I'm receiving also occurred in other places. So this is wide ranging. What he has allegedly done is pervasive. It is very, very serious. It is sexual harassment in the workplace if proven. And it's damaging to the victims because often they're emotionally really harmed and shocked by what has what they have alleged has happened. Often financially they've lost opportunities. Many have have indicated they have had to leave the entertainment business because they don't want to have to trade sex in order to get a job. It's just really wrong and, and we need to remember that this is really upsetting and sometimes to their families. There, many of them were afraid of victim shaming, victim blaming mm -hmm. and not being believed and many of them didn't know this was happening to anyone else. And now they, that rage that they felt for so many years, Alex, you know, that cannot be contained anymore. It's come out in a constructive way. They are speaking out. They are empowered. And I'm just so proud of all of them. Louisa, I'm going to give the final word to you. I'm curious, what do you want to happen to Harvey Weinstein? And what do you think should happen? They should leave him in a room with my parents. <laughs> um, I, I honestly, I want justice uh, to, to prevail here. And too many of, ha of us had been silent for years because we were scared but now we need to turn that table and uh, you know it is allegations at this point but when proven you know possibly jail so and louisette louisette has other evidence that we're not sharing publicly so we'll look forward to sharing that with in an appropriate form with the appropriate people who can help us to achieve justice for the victims. Well, it's a very brave uh, Louisette guys. Thank you very much for telling your story. And always, Gloria Allwood, thank you so much. Ladies, thank thanks. You. Still ahead, how likely is it that special counsel